These are truly unprecedented times, a phrase you hear much too often lately, a phrase that has turned our world upside down, shifting what our understanding of normal even is and completely transforming our day-to-day -day lives. Hi, we are Vitaly, Miguel, Daniel, and Joseph, and we are here to present our solution to the shifting trust in restaurants. A typical Friday night out with the buddies at a restaurant has suddenly became history as the customer trust in restaurants decreased drastically. During COVID-19, the safety expectations of customers became quite sophisticated to say the least. Although we are hopefully nearing the end of the pandemic with vaccinations rolling out, we should remain vigilant because catching COVID-19 is still a possibility. Aside from the standard safety requirements, many now expect every restaurant to adhere to new policies such as enough space between tables, mandatory PPE for employees and limited capacity within the restaurant. So the most important question arises, how do we regain the trust of customers in restaurants and grow indoor dining once again? We have derived a multi-step solution, which bases on the collaboration between ServeSafe, Restaurants Canada organization, and participating restaurants. Let's break the solution down piece by piece. I'll pass it on to Miguel to elaborate on the first step of the solution. Thank you, Vitaly. Firstly, we focus on ServeSafe, which is a company that specializes in preparing restaurants and food service workers to deliver a safe dining experience. During COVID-19, they have built a four-course training program to provide food businesses with the necessary safety information during the pandemic, such as understanding how the virus spreads, physical and operational changes that can be made to maintain social distancing, de-escalation techniques, contact tracing, and more. And the best part about these courses is that they're completely free. If we take a look at the SurfSafe website, we can see the option to access not only these training modules, but also other resource packages which can be helpful to businesses during COVID-19. Now, you may be asking, what happens after the restaurant completes the four-part training? How will the customers know? And you'll be absolutely right. We need to make the public aware that these restaurants are upgrading their knowledge and safety protocols. Thus, we have derived a four-level system which functions similar to a public health inspection. Every time that a restaurant completes a level of training from ServeSafe, they will receive a certificate to verify and acknowledge that. These restaurants will post it on their entrance and ServeSafe will report this to Restaurants Canada. To further elaborate on the next steps on behalf of Restaurants Canada, I'll pass it on to Daniel to explain. Thank you, Miguel. Restaurants Canada has a great outreach in the food provider business. They are known to be the leaders in helping food service businesses grow and prosper. During the COVID-19 pandemic, they've become a point of contact and source of updates for restaurants. They have continuously provided timely updates regarding the effect of COVID-19 within the industry and developed toolkits to promote a smooth transition from the pre-COVID world into the current unprecedented times. Within the framework of our plan, we utilize their already established clients and contact base to spread the updates as more and more restaurants are obtaining new certifications through ServeSafe. In a way, Restaurants Canada will become a hub for posting the up-to-date information about certifications. The Restaurants Canada website will need to get updated with a tab to show which restaurants are certified and at what level, making it easier for customers to browse and choose their preferred dining location. With a quick implementation, the list can start growing within weeks as more and more restaurants will get certified. Because of the vast outreach and extensive client base, we anticipate that a significant amount of people will start visiting this website in hopes of finding the ideal place to dine in based on their comfort level with COVID-19. We will also need Restaurants Canada to start a social media campaign to promote the changes to their website, as well as the overall health and safety guidelines restaurants are implementing in order to attract more people. The biggest fear for customers comes from what they see or more so don't see with their own eyes. The same way that the lack of PPE, social distancing and limited capacity scares customers away, a proper certification from a credible institution is bound to reverse this effect as customers will now see that the safety protocols are known and met. I will now pass it on to Joseph to discuss the steps for implementation. Step one is to integrate ServeSafe courses onto the restaurantcanada.org website. Step two is to get restaurants certified through ServeSafe. Step three is to get ServeSafe to report restaurant certifications to Restaurants Canada. Step four is to get Restaurants Canada to create a webinar on how to market safety certifications to customers. Finally, step five is to get Restaurants Canada to start a social media campaign. In terms of cost and budget, the main expense category falls under advertising, as we need to promote our program through social media campaigns hosted by Restaurants Canada. As you can see from this graph, this expense will sum up to approximately $10,000 per month. Other expenses would include web development fees to upgrade the Restaurants Canada website with the new tabs and proper infrastructure. As mentioned prior, the cost of these courses is free, resulting in no additional expenses. I will now hand it over to Vitaly to finish the presentation with final recommendations. Thank you, Joseph. We will leave you off with some final recommendations. In order for the solution to work, the steps outlined prior must be completed by every party. The cooperation between ServeSafe, Restaurants Canada, and restaurant locations is crucial as well. With this perfect blend, we believe that restaurants will regain trust in customers, and sooner rather than later, the dining seats will be filled once again. Thank you for your time and attention.